The nice thing about this lift, I can drive up on it. When I lift it up in the air, it has complete access underneath it to do whatever you need to do. I'm not going to lift it all the way. It's got safety devices on it, so it's safe. It's not going to settle down on me with it at the height. The problem with this one is I have to step over the bar. I find this to be a negative, but the other side is completely accessible. So if I'm working on one side of the machine, I put that side out and only work on that side. But the nice thing is I can put this up against the wall and I can also move. If you notice, this machine is now bolted to the ground. So if I want to move it over to that door and drive in the door and use it, hmm. I can just put those wheels on it and actually hmm. pick it up and physically move it over there by myself. That's cool. And so you, can bolt it you could bolt it if you wanted, but most people leave it mobile so they can move it around their shop. It's not anchored into the ground. With it here, I can work on it. I'm not bending over. I'm not kneeling down. And so I have it at a working height without trying to pick a piece of equipment up. And so as a technician that's working eight hours a day in equipment, the thing that kills you is getting on your knees and getting down and up and down and up. And you know from doing weightlifting or any kind of exercise program, you get a lot of exercise from going up and down. If you do that for eight hours, you're pretty much tired. When I worked at Waverly, they didn't have a lift. They had a tabletop like the one that's in there, and I worked on a trim mower, and I had to set the height of cut on it. And I've done it here numerous times. I can set the height of cut with one of those in about 20 minutes tops. If I go slow, it takes me 20 minutes on a lift. Sit on a little scooter, slide back and forth. You can adjust it. It's real simple. Since they didn't have a lift, I had it on the ground. It took me an hour to adjust it. And so you had to lay down on one side, and you make an adjustment and check it. You have to physically stand up, walk around to the other side, lay down, crawl under there, make an adjustment, check it. If you make an adjustment to one side, you have to check the other side. So you get up, walk around to the other side, lay back down, crawl under there, check it. Ah, it changed. You adjust it. Well, I changed one side. I got to check the other side. So you get up, walk around, and it took me an hour. Now, time is money in this industry. If I can do it faster, I'm saving money. If I can get to six pieces of equipment in a day versus three, I'm going to have a better quality cut out there. And if the technician at the end of the day is not tired, he's going to be more observant, he's going to find more problems, and he'll get more jobs done and the machine will stay running longer. And so lifts will pay for themselves pretty fast. This lift here, if you buy it with all the options on it, is about $4,000. It's not very hard to calculate if I can save 25 minutes on every project, how long does it take to make $4,000? It'll pay for itself pretty fast. Looking at the options on the floor here, the piece that's down here on the end, over here. these pieces right here clip on. These are for like golf carts or any kind of utility cart. You put four of these on, and it comes up and it touches the frame. This lifts on the frame, and you actually pick it up. The wheels hang down. You can pull the wheels off, pull the brakes off, pack the bearings, set the brakes, do any kind of adjustments, set it back down, dry the machine off. That's what this one's for. These are tool trays. So I'm working on the machine. machine. You don't want to pile your tools on your equipment because it can fall and hit you in the head. And so. They give you tool trays. Pile your parts and your tools on here, and it gives you a handy little workbench. These are actually trays to drive up on. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to, especially something with small tires, it's hard to get up a lift like this. So these are ramps to make it easy to drive up and on. There are some pieces of wood that are in the picture. These pieces right here, they're actually like a wedge, and they sit against the tree down here and it, it aids in driving up. The easier transition, the easier it will be to get on and off. 